Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter! Boom, 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 review stuff. And I am sitting in a parking lot looking at Starbucks where it looks like three or four police officers have pulled this woman over. I don't know why. They're all outside of her car. I'm like, is something going down? Is something going on? What is going on? And I was kind of, they're now walking back to their car and she's getting ready to pull away. And I was like, well, I'm pointed right at Starbucks and I don't necessarily want them to think I'm recording the whole thing. So I just sat here with my new anniversary cup that came in the mail today. I got it off of Etsy. It came in the mail today. It's the Starbucks anniversary cup. Cup. I'm so excited about it. Look at how beautiful she is. Is she not lovely? Oh my god, she's delightful and lovely and I'm so excited about her. So I thought I would uh, use her for my uh, Starbucks today because I'm so excited. This is a little bit different than my gold cup that I have. They're sisters. They love each other so much. Oh my God, they're basically twinsies, okay? They're sisters um, by a different mister. <laughs> is that the saying? I think that's the saying. So anyway, this is my coffee from yesterday. <laughs> I haven't finished it yet, which means I need a new coffee <laughs> today. So, um, and I am doing a Starbucks review. I'm not just showing my cup, but I could do a whole a video just on showing my cup because I love her so much. Okay. <laughs> Uh, my husband's going to be so delighted that we have a new uh, member of the family. <laughs> He'll be like, oh, another cup. Okay. But today I'm going to review for uh, St. Patrick's Day that is coming up. The Leprechaun Latte from Starbucks will boost your luck by Holly at TotallyTheBomb.com. I have to tell you, over at TotallyTheBomb.com, they now have like three or four Starbucks drink creators. And there was like an Among Us drink over there. And then there was, what was the other drink? I can't remember, but they were very difficult to make. It was like, first you put the milk in the blender, then you do, and I was like, oh no, 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 no. I'm not doing this to the baristas at Starbucks. I'm not gonna wear about with all this kind of stuff. We're gonna do something simple and thank God, they look fun, they look like really cool drinks. But thank God for Holly at TotallyTheBomb.com because she keeps it simple, okay? Now, her drink yesterday was a bit of a fail. It was a bit of a fail if you watched my video from yesterday. If you didn't, go check it out. Um, but I think that the, lepre the lepre leprechaun latte will be a little bit easier. And I'm going to get the iced version of it because you guys know I love iced drinks. But anyway, let's get into this. March is full of amazing things. Spring finally shows its face. St. Patrick's Day is upon us, which either gives us an excuse to go uh, all out in green or to drink. I don't drink on St. Patrick's Day. It's kind of like St. Patrick's Day for me is very much, because I'm sober, I've been sober for 26 and a half years. If you didn't know, well, not half year. We don't borrow time. I've been sober for 26 uh, years and uh, just over three months. And... Uh, well, almost three months, two and a half months. Let's just say I've been sober for 26 years and two months. Oh, I can actually tell you exactly how long I've been sober as of, where is it at? I can tell you exactly how long I've been sober. 26 years, 26.22 years, 314.74 months, 9,580 days or 229,909 hours. It's exactly, here's my little 12 step app. That's exactly how long I've been sober. So anyway, I don't drink. I feel like St. Patrick's Day is kind of like amateur hour, like New Year's Eve is, um, where people that don't usually drink go and get absolutely just obliterated. And I don't really have a lot of fun on St. Patrick's Day, so I don't go out and do anything usually. I usually just stay at home and, you know, go out and get my green coffee, if there's green coffee that day. And, well, now I have a green coffee. And, you know, put on something green so you don't get pinched and all that kind of stuff. And don't say it's your underwear. I hate when people say that. Just wear a green shirt or something. Hey, listen, you only live once. Do something fun. Okay. And uh, it's also her husband's birthday. So happy birthday to Holly's husband. Okay. So to present an ode to the little green guy helping out this month, I present you the leprechaun latte. And here she has the hot version and the cold version. Um, the best part about this drink is that you can get it hot or cold. It's the same recipe either way besides saying you want it hot or iced. And it's, and it's just as tasty either way. And hold on, let me get this ad out of the way. And this is what the iced version looks like, which is what I'm gonna be getting today. Just make sure you grab our recipe below because it's on the Starbucks menu, secret menu drink. Or here, I'll read it all to you. Just make sure you grab our recipe below for the best way to order this drink because it cannot be found on the Starbucks menu. This is my personal creation, making its way to the Starbucks secret menu to join the rest of our amazing drinks. And there she has another picture. Uh, how to order the leprechaun latte. Start by ordering a grande green tea latte, which I like that, hot or iced, made with coconut milk. Then ask for two scoops of vanilla bean powder. Here she has, here's another picture. 
And here is another picture. She must have just gone all iced because she's got all iced pictures. Oh, well, it probably shows up prettier that way, too. And finally, ask for three, honey. And here's her last picture. That's all you need for this treat. If you are looking for more St. Patrick's Day themed drinks, check out our Good Luck Charm Frappuccino and our Liquid Luck Tea. And, and as always, you can check it out on their uh, TikTok. And there it is. Now, I will tell you, I was going to try the Harry Potter. There's a new butterbeer frappuccino recipe. And I was going to try it because I really loved the butterbeer that Holly did. But it's by somebody different. And it's a variation on the original drink. Um, it's just very difficult. So I may try that. Oh, it's so hot. This car. It is 67 degrees outside, you guys. I am loving this weather. It is beautiful in Indianapolis. It is a little cloudy today, but I do not mind. 67 is gorgeous. Speaking of recovery, I'm going to my home group meeting tonight. Gonna hang out and see all my good Judy's, all my good friends. Very excited about that. And uh, so just making a few videos, running a few errands. There was literally nobody at Starbucks. And now that I'm coming through here, there's like all kinds of people at Starbucks. Somebody is jamming out to the music over there, okay? This person's like, let me. They were nice, they let me in. Now, there's like three cars ahead of me, so I am um, going to turn this off and I will be back in just a second. Okay, it's almost my turn. I swear to God, I think this guy in front of me has never been to Starbucks before in his entire life. And, um,. It's very sweet. He's like, do you guys have any decaf options? And she's like, well, yeah, we can pretty much do anything that you want. He's like, so I could do like a decaf latte. And she's like, yeah. And he's like, okay, let's do that. And then she's, he's like, do you have any milk substitutes? Like almond milk? It was really sweet. <laughs> Could I please get a uh, venti iced blonde Americano uh, yeah. with an extra shot and one Splenda? Yeah. Definitely, definitely not decaf like the gentleman in front of me. Yeah. I, <laughs> and then can you also help me make a drink? Sure. Okay, I need to start by ordering a grande green tea, and la green tea latte iced made with coconut milk. And then I need two scoops of vanilla bean powder in that and three honey. And that's it. Honey and what else? I'm so sorry. The vanilla bean powder? Yeah, two scoops of vanilla bean powder. Okay, perfect. Got you. And three honeys. Anything else we can get for you? Nope, that's it. Oh, that's the 1101 for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Has anybody ever had that chickpea box? I was just looking at it. It actually looks kind of good. Um, I might have to try that sometime. <clears throat> when we were in Florida um, in November, there was this kiosk in the mall, and we bought Alex and I bought these um, <laughs> these very fake but very. And every time I wear it, people think that it's real. They're like, "Is that a real Louis Vuitton mask?" I'm like, "No, <laughs> I would not pay for a Louis Vuitton mask." But people always think this is real. Look how bougie that is. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so bougie with my new cup. <laughs> Here, look. I'm gonna. This is gonna be. <laughs> I can't get it off of my oh hold on I'm gonna need to I need to get my app I need to get my app ready you better get your app ready <laughs> get your app down here <laughs> you're such a jack app <laughs> you apple oh my god oh my god that apple oh my god you apple that's so funny <laughs> Uh, he was using a, uh, he was using a what? Like a gift card. Somebody must have given him a gift card at Starbucks. He's like, I've never been before, so I'm going to use it today. Unfortunately, I spend way too much money here because Starbucks is just a bunch of apples. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> I'm so silly. How are you? Doing well. How are you? Good. Your shirt is so pretty. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs> I'm confused what the joke was. I like a joke, okay? I like a good joke, so if you know jokes, please tell me jokes. But if you compliment somebody and they laugh at you, I don't really understand the joke. Okay, look at these guys just hanging out here. They're, hey. <laughs> they were awfully smiley, those guys. <laughs> it looked like the uh, the grandpa uh, uh, coffee hour or something over there, but they were real friendly, so hey. I like friendly. <laughs> Do you like friendly? <laughs> okay, the sunlight is so bad over here. Sunlight of the spirit. Where can I go to park and I can try this drink out? Is this good? No. Where I started it was good. <laughs> it's way down here. Here, we can do this over here. Well, this, is this okay? Oh, look at that. Perfection. Perfection. Okay. This whole family is looking at me as they walk in to um, whatever this restaurant is back here. Okay. <clears throat> it looks kind of like coagulated. I don't even know how to explain it other than that. Ooh. I like that. I will say it's very matcha tasting. So if you don't like matcha, even though, I, is there matcha in it? Maybe that's the vanilla bean powder. That is good. Oh, that is a, here, let's. <laughs> I've had so many thumbnails, who cares? This is really good. This is a five out of five. It's matcha tasting. It's kind of green tea tasting. The matcha, I think, is the vanilla bean powder mixed with the green tea. It's very refreshing, but it's definitely thicker like a latte. This is good. Cheers, Holly. And happy St. Patrick's Day. So, anyway, I love you guys. And I will go try this and let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.